Hello, I hope you are doing great and having good health. And in this video, I am going to explain three content of this chapter. This is uh, audibility range, uh, sound pollutions and musical sound. So this is very important because you know that previous classes I explained the sequentially the contents of this chapter, wave and sound. And uh, this is a very very important to know what is audibility range and what is the musical sound and what is the most important thing in our day-to-day -day life is sound pollution. So there is a chart which is seem to say that in the unit of decibel that which machines is producing how much the decibels and how much we can actually tolerate. So as we know that in our day-to-day -day life the civilizations process, the urbanizations and factories, mills and cars are increasing day by day. So the sounds is also increasing. So this is the sequential national upload. What about the audibility range at first? Do we hear all the sounds in our surroundings? If this is the questions, the answer is directly no. Why? Because human ears have some limitations and that limitations of the frequencies of sound is known as audibility range. And I hope you know it is between 20 Hz, 20 Hz to 20 khz or 20,000 Hz. You of course know it. So 20 Hz is the minimum limitations of a human being so that until 20 Hz we can hear. But if it is 17 Hz or 16 Hz or 5 Hz, we, we can hear, we can't hear. But in case of 25,000 or 35,000, no, we also can't hear. Because uh, this is the surprising characteristics of the frequencies of sounds. So if we go less than 20 Hz, Suppose if I say, okay, 20 to 20 Hz, if I write it here, so 20 Hz is the least minimum and the maximum is 20,000 Hz. So now you think the less than 20 Hz and greater than 20,000 Hz both has some other name of the as frequencies, but this range is known as audibility range. So definitely, please think about it. What is the audibility range? That is, the range is between 20 to 20,000 Hz. So what if the Hz range less than 20, that is known as infrasonic sound or infrasonic wave. So you must know that infrasonic wave or in this case more than 20,000 is known as ultrasonic wave so that means ultrasonic ultrasonic wave it means the sound that is producing more than 20,000 hertz so if i say the frequency of sound is 20 hertz that means the vibrations 20 vibrations per second that sound is audible for human ears but in some cases there are some it varies person to person because it has some limitations but in case of dogs the audibility range can be 35000 hertz or in case of bat you see the bats the flying animals uh, the audibility range for them are 1 lakh hertz that means 100000 hertz so it varies from animals to animals but in case of humans it's 20 to 20000 hertz and this range is known as audibility range. So you must know less than 20 Hz is infrasonic. Infra means less than, okay? Uh, you, you must know about the ultraviolet rays regarding the wavelengths of lights. I will definitely discuss this about in the nature of light uh, class. So infra means, okay, less than, and ultra means, okay, more than. So this is audibility range. Now think about what is musical sound. Musical sounds are about is is very uh, uh, scientific and technical. So I must uh, discuss about you the characteristics of musical sound. There is three character, which is intensity. You must know it. Intensity, pitch, and timbre. So what is intensity? Intensity means that how much loudly a sound can be heard. How much loud? Or we can say that. 
the amount of sound is sound energy is flowing per second per unit area that is also known as the intensity of sound so we can say the uh, the energy the sound energy is flowing per second per meter square so we, we can say the unit the unit of uh, the intensity is watt per meter square so we can say that watt per meter square is the unit of the intensity so we also can say like this so what is intensity intensity it means that how loudly a sound can be heard or uh, the uh, the amount of the sound energy that is flowing per second or directing per second per meter square area in another case uh, after intensity we need to know about pitch what is pitch the pitch is a characteristic of a musical sound that helps us to know or to hear it in the same intensity. Is it dull or is it sharp? I mean, this is a characteristic. So the pitch means in the same intensity, the sounds is following that. Is it a sharp voice or sharp wave or a dull wave? So the feeling of sharpness or dullness comes from these characteristics is pitch. And in another case. The timber is an another characteristic of a musical sound that gives us an idea that uh, this uh, wave is coming from which types of instrument, which type of uh, musical instrument. So uh, in short, I can say uh, it's very difficult and it's a very um, scientific and technical aspect of uh, music because it's more scientific and there are a lot of things actually inside but from this level I can say only that you as we are following the academic syllabus you might think about more to have more accurate knowledge regarding this you can google it so what is actually intensity so you first you remember the musical sounds has three type of characteristics which is uh, intensity pitch and timbre intensity is it means that how much loudly it is pitch means either in the same intensity is it sharp or dull and in case of timbre from which musical instrument uh, it's coming so and then the sound pollutions in our day-to-day -day life you know that sound pollution is something intolerable if somebody uh, is residing somewhere where is uh, it's more than 80 or 90 decibel sounds is always so it's really really fatal I mean um, some people you'll see that with the earphones there are huge like huge sounds uh, bumping here and uh, it has far reaching fatal consequences which is not actually visible or noticeable right now but it has uh, some like fatal fatal consequences because uh, some recent experiment says that when a people is working in a huge sounding factories uh, their audibility capabilities is less than uh, half in 10 years so it has some adverse effect of human health like um, sleeplessness can be another thing uh, digestions may be affected people's mental peace will be breaking down and definitely it has some anomalous effect on human health so sound pollution can be fatal for our civil societies and the peoples around if we can't i mean in, in our uh, developing countries where more cars in the roads and having horn and peep peep each and every time the pedestrians and the peoples or passengers having more problems in their own life so if you see the traffic is 80 to 90 decibel whereas we can actually uh, we can actually uh, tolerate till 70 decibel if i'm not wrong but you see in case of traffic it's 80 to 90 cars is producing 60 to 80 televisions that we actually hear is 50 to 60s we day to day life with conversations is going on here the audibility range is 40 to 60 decibels when we breathe there is also sound we can feel the the sound of breathing which is also 10 decibels but you see the audibility range of the jet engine is 140 decibels you can't imagine that how much huge sounds is producing from the jet engine when a plane is going to take off and when the jet engine has started it's huge so uh, this is some sort of idea 
for you to understand the, the argument range and the decibel unit and um, uh, the, the necessity of, of avoiding sound pollution. So in our day-to-day -day life we need to feel the peace inside, we need to keep our mental health okay, we need to take care of our own health otherwise um, we, right now we can directly see that what's happening but it has a far-reaching fatal consequences in our day-to-day -day life. Our mental health can be affected, our digestions can be affected, our sleep can be affected uh, entirely. So I hope you understand and take care. See you in the next class. Bye.